Street Racer Character Profile Brick Daddy With so many people coming to this drag strip and garage for fun and pink slips, surely you'd be asking who runs this joint? Well then, let me introduce you to Brick Daddy. A lot of people who come to his drag strip always ever see Brick Daddy with the same select few people. A lot of regulars jokingly say he's got his own little mafia at the garage. Brick Daddy liked this little joke, as did his crew. But if only those folks dug just a little bit deeper. Brick Daddy is a businessman through and through. He stayed in the motoring industry and bought all the car garages in the area. There was one particular garage with a huge open space behind it. It did not take long for him to turn it into a space for car fans to meet. Everything that took place was made under an agreement he made with a particularly nosy police officer. Many people came and went, partied and raced, won and lost. And only a few people met Brick Daddy himself. He's always in his office space, with his own car on show for people to see. He doesn't race often, and even then, they aren't full-on races. He'll challenge a few people who are being loud and boastful. And whilst his car is more for show, it's a very fast car. And it can prove that Brick Daddy can put his money where his mouth is. That being said... DJ currently owes Brick Daddy five cars. Two months ago, before DJ met Boost, DJ challenged the head honcho himself as a joke, and shockingly, he won. Brick Daddy was surprised by this loss, but there was nothing on the line, so they played it off as all being silly. However, DJ, after the race, got out and jokingly said, I just won Brick Daddy's car. And that really annoyed the boss. As a way of shutting up DJ, he was then forced into two more races against Brick Daddy's crew, Ghost and Antonio. For each race, had four cars on the line if DJ lost. DJ then lost both of the races, and now owed Brick Daddy eight cars. Brick Daddy has kept his eye on DJ and the crew he's hanging around. And to DJ's credit, he has been able to pay off three of the cars so far. Although five more cars are owed, and the DRH crew are a mere crew of four with some very desirable cars Brick Daddy would like to add to his collection. Supposedly, DJ thinks Brick Daddy won't accept any of the cars to settle the debt, but Brick Daddy really isn't that cruel.